Hello, I'm Carol Castiel, president of the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project. Board member and descendant John Wanon and I are heading out to Cape Verde to lead an international delegation to rededicate the recently restored Jewish burial plot in the capital, Praia. Did you know that in the Jewish tradition it is more important to maintain and preserve burial grounds than it is to build a synagogue? Here's Rabbi Joshua Maruf of the Magen David Sephardic Synagogue in Rockville, Maryland, on the importance of maintaining and preserving Jewish burial grounds. Why then is it such a significant undertaking? Why is it so important? Well, when we see a cemetery, what we see is the impact that individual human beings, in this case, Jewish human beings, but human beings in general have had on this world. And we know that even long after the memory of a particular person may have been forgotten, the influence of their presence, of their existence, is still going to be felt, whether it be in the form of descendants or in the form of the impact that they had on the lives that they touched. So when we preserve burial grounds, we're not doing something that is morbid or negative. We're really affirming a positive. The fact of the matter is that each and every one of these graves represents a human being who lived, who loved, who worked, and who died, and who is entitled to have their memory cherished for many generations to come. When we affirm that about the, those who are interred in Cape Verde, we affirm the same about every single one of us. We have only a short time on this earth, and I know that we all hope that we'll leave a legacy behind that will be honored and venerated by those who come after us. But it's only if we take the initiative to respect our predecessors, our ancestors, those who've already passed on, it's only if we do that, that we can be sure that the same respect and honor and appreciation will be accorded to us. Speaking at a kickoff reception for the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project at the Moroccan Ambassador's Residence, Daniel Mary Ashen, Executive Vice President of B'nai B'rith International says it is precisely because Cape Verde is off the radar screen of most international Jewish organizations that we must bring it into focus. It's a wonderful idea, I said to myself, because we know so much about the Jews of Eastern Europe, Central and Eastern Europe. Many of us in this room are descended from those communities. Um, we know a lot about the Jews of Morocco and North Africa. Uh, some of us in this room are descended uh, from that community. Uh, but we know very little about the history of this, this remarkable community um, sitting, uh, as it was, uh, right there in the ocean off the coast of Africa, and yet, which was the home to a, a thriving uh, and, um, and quite interesting uh, Jewish community. Let me introduce you to John Wanon, a descendant of the legendary Jewish Wanon family and valued project board member. He recently spoke at the Moroccan ambassador's residence for a kickoff reception for the project. He emphasized the importance of documenting and disseminating the history of the Jews of Cape Verde. Uh, why is it important to maintain or to recover the cemeteries or to uh, preserve the legacy of Jewish, the Jews in Cape Verde. Very simple. As I said, myself, I can remember. Because my aunts, my grandfather, my grandmother, they told me about it. I can tell my children about it. But when my generation passes, the ones that come after may not have any source to learn about their Jewish background, their Jewish legacy. And that's one of the primary reasons, I believe, why uh, this project should continue, to give the youngsters in Cape Verde a chance to learn about not only the Jewish legacy, but for those who are descendants, to learn where they come from, where they originated. Speaking at a fundraiser for the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project at the Portuguese Ambassador's Residence, former Congressman Barney Frank strongly endorses the project's objectives of honoring the memory 
and documenting the legacy of the Jews of Cape Verde. The district I represent is the beneficiary of all three of these traditions, of these ethnic groups, of these national, national groups. And to see this example of mutual support and cooperation is really a very important one. So I hope this is a, a lesson that will go out to the world, that this will be well written about and well documented. Thanks for watching. We'll have a full report about the rededication ceremony and future plans for the project upon our return.